Checkers, we're gonna draw another Pokemon today. Yeah. Which one, dude? Squirtle. Boom. Squirtle. Alright, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have something to draw with and a white piece of paper, right? Mm -hmm. How many Pokemons are there, dude? Well, more than 450. <laughs> Do you say, is that because that's what it says on your book here? Well, yeah. <laughs> this thing is so awesome. I can't believe how many Pokemons there are, dude, until you got this. <laughs> now I understand. There's a ton. <laughs> And this is a really cool book because it shows you the height, the weight, and also has a little description of their moves and some special features, right? And how to say it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Them, how to pronounce it. Yeah, some, a lot of them are really hard to say. They're really hard to pronounce. I would have no idea how to say that. <laughs> but the cool thing, too, is it shows you their evolved forms, right? Yeah. And I didn't even know some of these were, some of these were the same Pokemons. Yeah. <laughs> we got this at a book fair, right? Yeah. And our art friends, they can go over to Amazon and purchase this. We'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can go buy it. Cool? Yeah. Cool. You ready to draw Squirtle? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, first step. We're going to start with his head, and we're going to draw it towards the top of the paper and off to the left. We're going to draw him in battle stance, dude. It's going to be super cool. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So his head is going to be a circle. We could use a template, but we're just gonna drop freehand. And there we go. Good job, dude. He looks awesome. Are we done? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do a smile next, and we're gonna have his mouth open. So we're gonna draw a line that that parallels the bottom of the circle. Okay. And it's just towards the bottom. We don't want to go too high because this is his mouth and it's going to be low down here. Good job. Okay, now between the ends of his mouth, we're going to put a little point right in the middle. And he's, he kind of looks, he's a turtle, right? And turtles have kind of beak shaped mouths. So we're going to do uh, the first side of his mouth that does an S line. I, can you see that? It's a real mm -hmm. subtle S line. It comes to a point right there. So it comes down, goes back up, and then back down. Yeah, good job. Then we're gonna do the same on this side. So we come down, back up, and then down to the point. <laughs> it kinda looks like lips, huh? That's why you're, that's why you're laughing. <laughs> we'll fix it. It won't look like lips when we're done. <laughs> All right, let's put his tongue in there. We're going to do a line right here and a line right here, and that already helps, right? Yeah. <laughs> it totally looked like lips. Yeah. All right, then let's put his little nostrils in there. He's got two dots right down here by his top of his mouth. Okay, good job, dude. Now let's draw his eyes. So we're going to do a line right here on the side. So just a, a short line. And then also a short line on this side. And this is the bottom of his eye coming into like his cheeks. Got it? Mm -hmm. These are pretty short. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his eyes. So we're going to do an upside down U. Comes up. And then back down. Good job. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Good, dude. All right, now let's draw his pupils. So we're going to draw a curved line inside on both sides. All right, and then we can draw an oval for the light catcher, and the light reflecting off of his eyes. Good. And then I'm going to draw a little you right here at the bottom and this is because we're gonna we're gonna color this bottom part red but then let's color in this top part with our marker so this is his pupil up here at the top sure. all right Kate let's get his his uh, eyebrows and we'll make him angry like he's gonna attack something right <laughs> sure. Good, dude. We did his face. That's pretty easy, huh? Yeah. But he looks awesome. He looks yeah. really cool. All right, let's do his arm next. So we're going to draw a line coming out from the side of his head, right between his eye and his mouth. So right about here. And we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up. And we don't want to go too high because he has short, little short arms, huh? Mm -hmm. 
And then we're going to draw another line that's, uh, I have a backwards J line that we're going to draw down here. And this is for his arm coming into his body. So right below his mouth, we're going to do a little curved line just like this. Good. Okay, and then you hooked it in a little, a li see how you can, it kind of came back up? That's okay, because watch this. We're gonna bring, so we're gonna leave a gap right here, and we're gonna draw another line that comes down and into that line. That's why when you hook back up, it, oh, yeah. there'll be a little hook right there. But that's okay. That's okay, we're practicing, right? Yeah. There you go, so leave a little gap, and then draw another line for the other side of his arm. Yep. That's okay. Keep going. Yes, good job, dude. Hey, now we're gonna draw, we're gonna connect this line to this line with a little V, but we're gonna curve in into the lines because those are his fingers, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Now let's draw his thumb on there and that's gonna be an upside down curved V. Okay. Good. Okay, now let's, let's do his body, okay? Now that we have that arm in here, we're gonna draw his body next. And we're gonna draw a big line for his belly that comes around, and then it's gonna stop just below, kind of below his arm. Okay. Yeah, too much that's all right, he's gonna be kind of tall. But that's okay, right? Yeah. We're practicing. Okay, so we're gonna come, now we're gonna come down with another curved line over here, right behind his arm, and we're gonna come down and leave a gap. So almost like we're gonna connect into this line, if we were to draw a circle, it's gonna go all the way around, then leave a gap. Perfect, just like that. Now, let's draw a curved line to connect those. Good, now we're gonna draw his leg. So we're gonna draw a line that comes out here and another line that comes out over here too. Yeah, and you don't want those to be too long, right? Because he has short little arms. So I think it's about the same length as his arm. His leg is about the same length. Maybe a little bit longer. All right, so now let's connect these two lines with a W or an M, depending on what way you look at it. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now let's draw his shell back here. So we're gonna draw two lines that come down. This for his shell. Good job. Okay, now let's draw his other arm over here. So we're gonna draw a line that comes out over his eye, right here. And we're gonna leave a gap. We're gonna leave a gap just like we did over here and draw another line that comes down into his body. Good. Okay, now let's draw this, the fingers. So we're gonna connect these two lines just like we did over here, except a little bit different. We're gonna do an M, kind of like his toes. Good job, dude. He's looking really cool. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. Okay, now let's draw his other leg down here. So we're gonna come down and about a little higher than, see where this line comes in over here? We're gonna come over here and then a little higher, we're gonna draw his knee. So it's a big hook. Good, and then we can draw another line. Comes in, can I draw it? So, yes, just like that. It doesn't really look like it's gonna connect here. It looks like it's going higher. Then we're gonna bring another line right here. This is gonna be for his foot. And then we're gonna bring a, a hooked line here 
for the other side of his foot. Good job. And then we'll connect those with a W or an M, depending on how you're looking at it. Good. Yes. He looks awesome, dude. Okay, now let's draw the design on his shell, okay? Yeah. We're going to draw a curved line right under his chin. Good. And then let's draw a V or an upside down V right here. And this point you want to be about in the middle of his belly. Good. And now let's draw a V on this side. Sideways V. Okay. And then on this side, we're going to draw another V, but we want the point of that V to be right straight across about there and then we'll connect it got it okay mm -hmm. and then we'll connect those connect those sideways v's with a curved line and that curve you want to be about the same curve as the top good job now we're going to split the whole thing right down the middle Awesome. Okay, what are we missing, dude? His tail. Yeah, let's draw that. Hey, okay, we're going to draw a curved line that comes out of the back, comes up, and then it's going to curve around and then spiral. Good. And then we'll come back down here right at the middle of the spiral, right here, and then connect that back into his body. Good job, dude. You drew squirrel, man. Give me five. Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah, he's not too hard, is he? Yeah. All right, should we color him? Yeah. Okay, let's get our colors ready. All right, dude, we got a ton of colors for this one, don't we? Yeah. So we got a uh, pale blue and a pale green that we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna combine them and mix them together for his skin, okay? For okay. the skin tones. And then we're gonna use a, a lemon yellow for his belly and then also this color is a pale brown for the sh for the shadow. And then we also got a red that we're going to use on the eye, a pink for his mouth, and a brown for his mouth. And then we're also going to use this. It's an ochre color that we're going to use for the back of his shell. And we also have a gray. We're going to shade this uh, piece on the side. You ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start by using a light layer of this light blue or the pale blue. Okay, and we're going to do his head, his arms, his legs, and his tail. All right? Okay. Okay, let's do it. We'll fast forward. Okay, good job, dude. Now we're going to take the pale, the pale green, and we're going to press really hard and go over the light layer of blue and blend it in. Okay, so it looks okay. really smooth. And then that mixture is going to be closer to what his color would be. got them all colored in now mm -hmm. let's add a shadow okay so we're gonna come down here and put a kind of a pie shaped we're using the light the pale blue again and we're putting a pie shaped where it starts thick up here and then it tapers down and gets really thin towards his toes cool okay. and then we're gonna come back over here and we'll do the same thing except we'll come out and around his knee and then let's fill in a big part of his foot Okay, now we're gonna add a shadow under his tail. So it kind of it curls up and then connects into us into the, the uh, spiral here. And then we'll do a little portion of shadow here on the spiral. Good job. Okay, now let's do a little shadow under his arm. Goes into his armpit. <laughs> And then we can jump over here and do another one on this side too. And it's just a little sliver like we did on his leg. Good. All right. I think we're done with his uh, with his arms and his legs, okay. his head and his tail. So let's finish his face. So we're going to get the red and then color in that bottom part of his eye that we left. So right here at the very bottom. Just fill that in. OK, 
Okay, now let's get the pink and fill in his tongue. All right, now we're gonna get the dark brown, and this is kind of a red brown, but we're gonna just fill in the corners of his mouth, right here on the ends. So it looks like it's in shadow, and it makes his tongue stick out a little bit more, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome, okay, now we're gonna do yellow on his belly, we're gonna leave this part, this part white, and then the very end, we're gonna do uh, the ochre, okay? Okay. Okay, now we got the uh, pale brown, and we're gonna shad we're gonna add a shadow to his belly. And I connected it, see where the, the shadow from his leg? Mm -hmm. It comes up here, and then that's where I started this line and curved all the way, and I curved it past the shadow over here. But then we made it a sliver shape. Kind of looks like a sliver of the moon, huh? Mm -hmm. So that just looks like the, his belly is going underneath. Cool? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add a shadow underneath his head right here onto his belly. And this looks like a cast shadow so that there's more three dimension. Doesn't that make his head look like it's coming out? Yeah. I'm just going to take the gray and we're going to add a shadow right here on the white part of his shell. Dude, good job, man. You did awesome. Was that fun? Yeah. Give me five. The last step we did was we used our Sharpie to go back over the lines yeah. to make them dark again, right? Yeah. yeah. You promised you had fun? Yeah. <laughs> We hope you guys had fun drawing Squirtle with us. And we used, oil, we used an oil pastel set that was kind of big that has the special colors that we used, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it comes in the smaller sets, but we'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video where you can hop over to Amazon and pick up the larger set, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, should we say goodbye to our friends? Yeah. Let's do it. See Bye. you later, our friends. Goodbye.